Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing great this morning. I want to show you how to make a customized business logo exactly like this on your Android smartphone using PCL. And I will show you how to present it on a markup using this sitting markup. In this tutorial, you will learn a simple tricks on how to achieve this and how to combine your color which is very important including fonts thanks for watching god bless you please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos without wasting much of our time let's start with today's tutorial take up graphic skills with creativity hey guys welcome back to the cool graphic design channel this evening i want to show you how to make a business logo on your android smartphone using pc lab as i said right now the logo is actually for big business how can we make up with a particular logo for this so without wasting much of our time let's start i have, I have a flower something like bead being already downloaded online then I, I want to show you how you can easily present this match the text together with this shape to bring out what you want so the first thing to do is to go to the gallery and import the uh uh and import this that we have the resources we downloaded let's import it like that then after that we lock it after scale it then we'll go to our font and type the brand name i mean the text then that is sarah bidhouse so let's type the sarah first then we'll go to the font and select the beska and beksha beksha fonts which is this then we we increase the size of this to let's say one or three So good. After that, we go with the name Bid House. Bid House. Good. Then we we'll go to the font and select a regular. We we'll want to use a regular font, which is this then we we'll position it under here if possible we we'll increase the size a little bit now you, it will be we'll, we'll position it manually then after that let's give it a breathing space then after that we'll still go to our write up and type the slogan the perfect touch always perfect touch always then we'll go and give it a font, nice one, which is Alora. Let's give it a Laura font. Alora regular. Then we increase the size a little bit to match the first at the top. Then we'll move it closer. Then after that, the next thing to do, let me adjust this a little bit. Then the next thing to do after you got this is to give it a color. So I want to give this a white a black color black color then we'll go to <clears throat> the name of the brand black color then we we'll give this we we'll use a color picker and pick this which is very okay now let's go to our gallery to import the contact icon which i've seen here the contact icon then we we'll have to position it very well here We'll position it well so the next thing to do is to type have copy then we type o eight one one six two six four one seven zero o eight one one six two six four one seven zero then we click ok then give it a black color with a black color then you reduce sorry 
then we reduce the size a bit so let let reduce the size a bit and if it is not needed we can actually go back okay very good so now we have to adjust this we have to reduce the size very well to make it fit in so we we'll make it fit in very well that is what we are going to do so we we'll give it a space a little bit so we we'll we'll position it here So after that, the next thing that we are going to do is an Instagram icon, which we are going to select. So we we'll pick an Instagram icon, we we'll position it here. Then we type Zara. Instagram icon will be Zara. So, sorry. We copy, and then we edit Zara, something like this. Then we we'll position it here. So after doing this. The next thing to do is to put the third icon, so which is Facebook. So we we'll bring it down here. Then we edit. That is Zara Beat. Zara Beat. Then we we'll bring it down like this then we we'll position it here so now that we have done all these things we have to make sure that they align very well so we have to make it align very well okay cool it's good like this so now we'll now have to merge it together we'll merge it together and we'll position it very well so let's merge it. So sorry, we have to merge it together. So cool. Let's merge it. Then after merging it, sorry, we have made mistake here. This is not center very well, so now I think it seems is okay. So let's merge them. So now that we've merged it, sorry, let's change the color, let's give it different color. So it seems I want to give it a black color each, then I will bold it. I want to give it a black color then let go to boot let's boot them let's boot them so then after that let's match them so after matching them let's go to boot here and boot this as well cool so look at it very very cool so now that we've done that then the next thing to do is to save but let's check whether this is aligned very well and we can actually reduce the size to position it here so as to match the one at the top so let's see whether it's okay like that if no okay we can make it bigger so that it work with the one at the top so which this one is okay 
So after doing this, then the nice thing is to still save with transparent background. Transparent, sorry. So we need to save with uh, So good. Now let me show you how you can mock it up very well. Very simple. The logo we just made on our PC Live now. Let's present it on the uh, on the city mockup. This is Photopi. Just click go to your Chrome browser, type www.photopi.com as usual. Then you load it. When you load it, you must see this interface. Now click on open from computer at the middle. Click on file to access your gallery or your drive. Then locate where the mockup is. You getting it? Locate where the mockup is. So after locating the mockup, then you import the mockup directly to the photo P. And that is what I'm going to do right now. I want to locate where the mockup is. Then I will import it directly. So now I've imported the mockup. So the mockup you can get it at the description of this video. Feel free to download it, download it, and use it for practice. Now I'm waiting for the mockup to load. Then I can continue with other editing. Now that it has loaded, then you go to, to layer. Then you see the first layer, place your logo here, double tap it, then hide the logo on top of it. Click on the file at the left hand side. Click on open and place under the options. Click on the file to access your gallery. Then go to the pixel labs options where you have the design that we just made being saved. Then after you import it, you can see everything fitting normally. Then you go to file again. Then you go to save with smart object and double tap the one I highlighted. Then after double tapping it, then wait for the results for the logo to transform. So we wait for it to transform. Very good. We are waiting. And make sure you don't need to extract the mockup again because it's already being extracted. So it's already on zip. So you don't need to unzip it again. Just download and use it directly. And if you have any issue using the mockup, kindly check my number at the description of the video. Just message me, then I will guide you on how you can achieve that. Even if your phone is 2 gig RAM. So we are waiting for the results. Good. The result is already out. So let's check and look at how it is. So as you can see, this is what we just achieved. Very simple to do. Please, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I update my channel with a new video like this. Thanks for the support. Now click on the file at the left hand side. Then go down to... Go down to... Sorry... So you click on the file, go down to exports, the export as PNG, tap it, then it will take you to save and download area. This is saved, then download will pop up, then download. Now let's read the result after downloading. So after download it, then let's check, then you see the results. Very simple. This is how you can make a 3D, what's a 3D? local on your Android smartphone using PCLab. Thanks for watching. God bless you.